Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I just wanna share how I'm using Figma to create Instagram carousels. It's a little bit different than what I've seen out there on, uh, on YouTube when I was trying to figure out how to speed up my workflow and make this a little bit faster. And after doing enough trials, oh, um, actually this works for my workflow and maybe it might work for yours. So I just wanna show you how, how it's done. So I'll just go to the computer and, and, uh, and let's get to it. The main difference in what I'm trying to create right now are those Instagram carousels where you have a nice, you know, as you're swiping, you've got this nice transition and it seems like part of the image is on one slide and then you, you see the rest of it on another slide. And the, the other tutorials I saw on Figma, I saw these where you have, you know, you're trying to do some calculations and trying to figure out, you know, copy paste on top of several uh, different artboards. But what I found was that you don't have to do any of that. Instead, what you can just do is create one large image and then from there you can export that into uh, sliced up versions and then that's it. And I'll show you a really quick way how you can do that just using a website that I found and, uh, and then we'll go from there. So Instagram has, uh, if you use square images, the, uh, it's basically 1080 by 1080. So what we'll do is We'll just create an artboard. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start with that. So 1080 by 1080. All right. And now um, this kind of represents, this would represent one square uh, or, or one image on Instagram. So Instagram allows, their carousels allow up to 10. So I'm just gonna times this by 10. So I'll just do times 10 here. And let's see. Oh. I forgot to disable that. Let me do it again. Oh, okay. Disable that. I am dumb. I want the width, not the height. Brain parts. All right. All right. So here I have. This would represent like a long image where it would have uh, 10, 10 slides, uh, you know, side by side. And so what I'm gonna do now is because I want to have some rulers and, and some guidelines to help me out with the styling. So I'm just gonna recreate a square uh, using the shape uh, shape tool. And there's one. And then I'm just going to duplicate this uh, 10 times uh, just so it goes across so like this. All right, cool. All right, now the main thing is, is um, I just wanna have these sort of uh, guides to show me uh, where one slide ends and one slide starts. So yeah, let's do that. So what's cool when you create these shapes is you get this kind of snapping feeling going on. So I can do this really quick. So I just do that. Uh, come on, come on, come on. All right, so what I've, what I've just created are sort of the dividers between each uh, photo. So I don't need these anymore. And so I'll just go ahead and delete them all. And, and maybe just in case I wanted to put maybe a logo somewhere or my name or something and I just want it to be consistent and you know have a nice space, I can just add some extra guides here. So I'll just go ahead. One way just to make it really simple is to say, okay, I want a padding of 100 on the top. So I just do that and then I can just snap that there and then do the same thing down here. I'll just bring another line here. Oops. And then delete. All right, so now I have the master artboard set up and it, it's just one artboard. There's not anything, you know, nothing else. And I'll just show you how simple it is to just go from here. So to make it, so to just do something quick, I'll just make a quick little design. Uh, well, I just use words really. So let's maybe make this there so you can see the rest of the guides. And all right, and then this, oops, this, 
Hi, and then I'll just make some text. So fast. Alright, and I gotta make it bigger. Can't see that. So let's go ahead and make that. Alright. Alright. So there we go. And oh, just do it like this. Fat. Oi. Fat. Okay. Cool. All right. So yeah, this this corny. But basically, what I wanted to do is just show you an artboard that just has. You could imagine that this would be the T is on slide one, and then this goes slide two, and then there would be a cut between slide two and slide three, and so on. And so what you wanna do, all you have to do now is just export this, and it's exported. Uh, let's call it, uh, yeah, frame one, why not? All right, so now I'm gonna go to a website, and I'll leave this in the description. Pine Tools Split image and I just need to find the image and is this it yes this is it so I click that all right so there it is and now I just want the options I need to click horizontal horizontally I want the blocks to be equal in width and I just need to increase this to 10 and that's it I click split image does its magic and then I just start clicking each one to download them I'll just open up the finder and let's see what we got so here it is and you can see I've got this two here because I was doing some experiments before can you know I got practice a little bit so here we can just see this is there it is and you see there's the effect so now that I have these slides on uh, on my computer, now I just have to bring it onto my phone. And to do that, you just basically use AirDrop. And so with AirDrop, if you, where's my phone? Uh, yeah. Once, once you find your phone, wherever, once you find your phone from your kids uh, hiding it, there you go, you'll pop up and then you can just, um, you, you basically just take these, and you just drag them into your phone. And when you do that, you'll see now they just show up, they just show up here on your, uh, on your phone, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, and then that's it. And then from here you would just open up Instagram and then you can just continue with the thing. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I really just want to find a way to speed up the kind of the workflow of Figma to create these Instagram carousels. I use Figma a lot because I'm a web designer and it's a pretty good tool. And, you know, just, you know, I don't want to keep on having to switch tools just to do these little things here or there, you know, just incremental wins or something. So I just felt, okay, if I can just figure out how to find a workflow that works for me inside of Figma, then I don't have to switch and go, go elsewhere. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think I can go forward. So um, I just discovered this pretty recently. And, uh, and so now let's see if I can test it out and see if I can get a lot more carousels out there pretty quick. All right. So hope this was helpful. Let me know, uh, like or subscribe kind of thing. Uh, I would appreciate it. And uh, if you have any questions or, or ideas for future videos, would love to hear those. All right. Have a great day. Yeah. <laughs>